Alright, what up everyone? Zunabar here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about, about something that I didn't do at all in my channel, but I thought it was an interesting topic, and I guess if it's interesting for me, then it's also interesting for you guys. Uh, Riot Game recently announced at least Riot Xenogenic, uh, who is like a dev at Riot Games, they announced a Xinzao gameplay update. And I thought I was going to read it with you guys, a little bit like do a presentation of what is going to be new for Xinzao and talk about what I think about it, uh, if this is the right solution, and yeah, let's just get into it. So first of all guys, to give you a little bit of story about Xinzao, Xinzao is a very strong and very interesting bruiser jungle, I guess he was always played as a jungle, but you can always play him at top. Um, and when he came out, when he was launched into the game, it was the most broken champion in the entire game. Like, if you guys are like veterans of League of Legends like me, uh, you will know that Zingzhao used to end games with like, uh, sometimes you used to end the game at 20 minutes with Dorn Ring just because it was that broken. Like, you needed, you don't even need it to, to go back to base to buy stuff. Like, the passive was so broken. Everything was just so, so, so broken. And ever since this, like, this mode, I want to say, like, this uh, this fashion of playing Zinzao and high, high bruiser in the jungle, Riot started to introduce new champion, and the meta of the jungle shifted very quickly, and Zinzao got nerfed in multiple um, instances. So, right now, I've been... I want to say it's been like a year or two that we haven't heard of Xinzao in any other patch. We haven't seen it in any professional leagues. You probably seen you probably seen it in solo queue once or twice, maybe in the last uh, year or two. But personally, I haven't seen it at all. So Riot is trying to do an update of it. So let's see. If the, by the way, like let's see the goals of the update. I think this is very interesting to know the opinion of why the Riot team is sitting down and sitting around the table and be like, okay, we need to update Xinzao. Here's why. So the first thing is give Xinzhao players more meaningful and interesting decision. Other than interesting, uh, other than understanding when to engage as a melee, there was a lot of decisions to be made. Having more opportunities to make the right decisions and therefore more opportunities to win because of making the right decisions ultimately makes champions more fun to play. This is because those moments gives more chances for what we refer as to as a skill expression, demonstrating one skill or master of a champion or the game as a whole. We felt Zinzao was lacking opportunities for skill expression, so adding these decision making opportunities was one way to improve that. So I'm guessing they want to add more like, okay, so this means a lot and this means nothing at the same time. Let's keep going and then we'll see actual, the actual changes in spells uh, and maybe we can go back into this uh, paragraph. The second goal of the update is to give Xinzhao a unique identity within League of Legends. Okay, so this can mean a lot of things. It can also mean nothing, but they really want it to be... They want Xinzhao to be the best at what he does, and you, so you don't have jungles that are literally like a better version of Xinzhao. Like a champion that can go in, uh, do a lot of damage, and kill the ADC, let's say. So they want Xinzhao to be the best at what he does if you want... Uh, something that does what what he does. Does that make sense? Okay. So Zinzhao's fantasy of being a master spear fighter and duelist wasn't conveyed very well in his mechanics. So he didn't feel like a champion that stood out enough in the roster. That's that's literally what I just said. We decided to address this by giving him a new ability that provides a spear attack in considerable range, as well as modifying his ultimate to help him create the fantasy of engaging in a 1v1 duel, even during team fights. Okay, so I guess they want to give him like a certain sort of duel. Um, they want to give him a little bit more mobility, and they want really to emphasize on how good he is in a 1v1 situation, and they really want to push this. They also talk about a range enhancement, which is also interesting. We'll see maybe that's something like in a spell, or even in the passive. They want to make Xinzhao more flexible, so this means giving X, uh, Xinzhao the ability to contribute both early and late game. Also, we want him to have tools that can also use that can also use when playing from behind. So, I guess Xinzhao, when he was popular, it was a very snowbally champion, but because it was an all-in champion when you were behind, it was very hard to come back, because once you're all-in with Xinzhao, you don't have a lot of escape, and obviously once you end, like, you have to go all-in, like, you can't, it's like, it's almost like Olaf, you can't just go half-in, half-out, like, hesitate, Kai and stuff, like, you have to go all-in, otherwise you're not using your full potential uh, as you, as you should. 
so give Zheng Zhao a more meaningful place to teamfight. His success when diving the back lane is mostly dependent on his relative stats, and if the opponent has the proper CC tools to peel him, thus we aim to give Xin Zhao players more choices than just diving on the back lane and better tools to create his own successes. As game evolve, so can their preferred uh, targets and approach to team fights so they can continue being a strong contributor to their team. Okay, I guess, uh, so they want him to like be able to do more stuff than just rushing into the back lane and try to kill the ADC and dying from that, which is also understanding. So now let's see what are the summary of changes. So those are the paragraph. They're not changes for every spell. I don't think so. We see R modified, E modified, new W, and a new passive. So I'm going to go through these uh, one by one and just tell you a little bit what I think. Uh, if you guys have a comment, please put it down below. Tell me what you think about the Zendao. I especially want to hear about you if you're a jungle player and if you're a uh, Zendao player. If you get that play Zendao when nobody plays Zendao, I specifically want to hear what you have to say because obviously I'm not a Zendao player. I'm not a jungle player, so I can only give my opinion from what I know, from me watching the LCS, me understanding the meta. Um, but yeah, share your opinion, have this conversation with me on the comment section down below. I'll just wait for your comments. So, the new passive will be called Determination. The passive portion of Battlecry, every third hit deals bonus damage and heals in, was transferred to the Overwolf passive for his kit. Okay, so before this, so the the passive that you had on his W is now just his passive. Like that's just like literally his passive. So the new W when becomes a lightning. So this is a two part flowing attack with his spear. This is a two part flowing attack with his spear that includes a sweeping slash in front of Xin, followed by a long range thrust. Okay, so the slash deals damage in a cone in front of Xin and thrust deals higher damage and a long range and slows target hit by 1.5 seconds. So I guess like you're slashing with the spear and then you're throwing the spear somewhere and you can slow which gives you a range which gives you the opportunity to gap close and to have a longer range CC. Uh, the E is going to be modified. The attack speed steroid that Battlecraft provided is now rewarded after dashing to target with E. So E is still a dash in, so I guess you will have to slow down with a the thrust, then dash in just to gap close faster. So right now it looks like a little bit different, but I'm very curious about the R. R modified, now called Crescent Guard. Xinzo Ultimate is still an instant cast sweeping circle. Um... So you still have like this motion of like sweeping circle that knocks enemy back and deals damage, so same stuff. The knockback still excludes the last targets, the dash to, he dashed to or attacked, okay? So that's the same thing. But what's new is that, for 3 seconds after casting Christian Guard, so after casting it means that it starts when you click, not after the spinning, it just starts when you click. Uh, Xinzao creates a zone around himself and will block damage dealt to him from champion outside of his guard area. The duration of his stance is high is extended slightly every time Xinzao attacks an enemy champion. Okay, let me just read that again. Xinzao creates a zone around himself and will block damage dealt to him from champions outside of his guard area. So the, the zone around himself is his guard area. The duration of his stance is extended slightly every time he attacks an enemy champion. But does it move with him or does it doesn't move with him? It would create a zone around him. I don't, okay, so I, I want to know if it follows him or not. Because if it follows him, it's absolutely insane and amazingly OP. If it doesn't, well, you can get pushed out of it. You can like you can do stuff like that, but what it sounds like is that it's not something that moves with Zinzao. It's almost like a reversed Q spell of uh, like a W of Shen almost, where Shen creates like a circle around his dagger, and if he's inside the dagger, he cannot take damage. Here with Zinzao, like damage from auto attacks, of course. Uh, Zinzao will only take damage. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, very, very interesting. So, what it reminds me of a little bit is, I don't know if you guys play Dota 2, but there's a champion that, it's almost like, it looks like Kale in Dota, in, uh, in Dota 2, and it forces a target to duel you. And I feel like this is kind of the same vibe, I'm not saying that they copied Dota 2 at all, it's not, it's, it's not at all my point here. Uh, <clears throat> but, 
Zinzao is going to become a champion that is going to force someone to do him. Like, you're going to get into a fight and you're going to force people to get into your zone and attack you. Because if you, basically, yeah, so Zinzao is going to become some sort of center of attention where he will be able to attack everyone. Like, you can attack, he can attack, like, he puts the zone in the middle of the team fight. He attacks, he attacks, he attacks. If you're not in his zone, if you're not in his zone, you cannot deal damage to him. So, therefore, you're going to have to, like, take care of him as soon as possible. Or, of course, uh, if the zone doesn't follow him, well, you can just uh, bump him out of it, hook him out of it, flay him out of it, stuff like that. But the R is very, very interesting. Like, it's going to become the core of Xinzao with pack and kit. It's going to become a very, very interesting tool for him to get attention and really get into that, that duel that he really shines on. Because the follow-up on the Q, on the W, and on the E is, like, amazing. And he'll be able to do very well, especially when he wants to take down, let's say... Uh, Let's say like the enemy jungle in early game or early team fights in Drake. Like when you can have like a very strategic placement of the circle and be like, okay, this is where I can place a circle and just shine and just destroy everyone. This is super, super interesting. And I'm very excited about the W as well. That gives him like a little bit of longer range and a little bit of like, it would be almost easier for him to gank or do something else. Because right now it was very hard. Like he had to E the... The E was still a good tool, but the range was very slow, and you usually had to flash to to hit, to get a good E. Um, it, it's just a good overall update that I'm very interested on. After that, is it is it going to go in the meta? Is Xinzo coming back? People want to know that, I guess. We'll have to see with how Xinzo does in terms of like the entire spectrum of jungles that we have today. Like when Zixao came out, jungle was barely a role. Like Zixao was one of the first champions coming out into League of Legends. People really didn't know how to jungle. It was a very rare thing. And now you have such a panel of like jungle uh, champion. Like you have like 30, I want to say even 40, even like 45 champions that can jungle. Maybe not all in the meta, right? But I don't know if this is a ticket to the meta for Xinzao. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe he's literally... It's a revive for him because he was non-existent. Like, non, non, non-existent. This could be very good for him. After this, I need to know the details for the R. Is it, some, is it a zone that is moving with him? Or is it just a zone that he places when he clicks R and do, does the, 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 the sweeping circle? Now I know that. Sweeping circle. So yeah guys, basically that was my review of the Xinzao gameplay update to the arena. I will post the link of this down below if you guys want to see it. Have a look for yourself. Let's see what people think here. Second, only please don't give him a form of Yazoo win will. No worries, he doesn't have a win will, blah blah blah. So da, da, I laugh a bit too much at this one to be honest. Well I guess the forms like the forms comments aren't really interesting. I thought it was gonna be like uh, actual like are you happy with this or are you not happy with this? Maybe they should have a survey with that. That would be interesting for us actually as a community. Well let's you know what? Let's do a survey together. If you're liking uh, those changes and you think it's positive for Xinzao and the overall meta of the League of Legends, put a thumbs up in this video. And if you're not happy, if you think it sucks, uh, if you think it should be improved, put a thumbs down in this video and let's make it a survey. Like, I don't care if you put a thumbs down to the video. Like, it's just for me to understand what my audience thinks about those changes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. Take care and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'll see you for the next one tomorrow, guys. Cheers.